we can probably get a before dinner drink. Hello. Hey folks, and welcome back to our Thailand Moto Tour here. This morning we have left the city of Chayapum, and we're on our way to Kun Ken, which is a much bigger place, but, and I promise we'll get there on this episode, and we'll look around and we'll do some stuff, but on the way, I'm, I've always been kind of amazed at the different critters they have here in Thailand. I, I shouldn't say critters, I, the reptiles, the overall flora and fauna that they have here, and how much different that is from the kind of things that I'm used to, the animals, the reptiles, etc., where I live. So I saw this turtle park or tortoise uh, village, and I want to stop here and take a look, and we'll see uh, see what they have. Yeah, we stopped off here. Oh, probably only probably less than 50 kilometers outside of Kuan Ken by this time. We've been on the road a little over an hour from Chayapum, and they've got this turtle park here, tortoise park, turtle park, and wanted to come by and see. I thought there'd be a lot of turtles, but I'm not seeing any. I'll be darned if I see any turtles. Hey, it's called tortoise, so I mean that would be like a big turtle in my book. I, I don't know. I don't know much about turtles, but a tortoise I would think would be a big one. I don't know. It is only a little after 8 o'clock in the morning. Anina. <laughs> Oh, he's dug him a hole in there. He's almost got like a golden shell. That is a big, big turtle or tortoise. And I can see his... His paw there. These kids knew right where he was. Me, 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 Dao Diola. Ma, come here, come. Me, you're Tina, eh? Tina. Oh, okay, bye, see. Bye. <laughs> I was just looking around here. I couldn't find a turtle. The kids knew right where to find him. Oh. <laughs> they thought he might be under the catwalk there, or whatever you call this thing. Oh, this is. Jeez, look at this. Honey Taula. Oh, so there's. He's kind of underwater, just the top of his shell. I would have thought that was a piece of wood or something. Oh, another big one over there in the water. Right over there. Oh, okay. Says we can come in here. I think he's found a turtle. Oh, wow, there he is. Look at him. Oh, another big one back there. There's two of them. Oh, look at that guy. He's a real ripper. <laughs> Where I'm from, we have box turtles. We have water turtles, like snapping turtles. I've never seen these kind of tortoise things, uh, tortoise turtles before. Oh, look at that one in the back. Look at his shell. Something's happened to his shell. It's all cracked. Yeah, I think somebody probably picked him up and dropped him or he fell off somewhere. There's a, another big one back here buried in the dirt. They're all different kind of species there. Some dark shells. This one. <laughs> Wow. 
And then you're supposed to be able to count these lines. Torai peak, like that. I need no new songs on TV. Young. But this guy here, he's he's really look at that's a beautiful shell. So yeah, it was really cool these two kids were there and happened by and were able to show me where these turtles were. I, I never would have seen them on my own. I probably just would have left disgusted. But um, it was really nice to see some of these larger variety of turtles that are indigenous to here. I'm used to just small turtles, unless they're the real nasty water type like we had back home, like the snappers. But I'm not sure if this is a turtle sanctuary, a uh, the place they bring turtles that uh, they find on the road or something, or... I'm not sure what the purpose of it is, but I was really appreciative to the kids. They gave me each 20 baht, and so they buy some candy or, you know, something sweet to eat. But it was nice of them to stop. Um, pretty neat. Doesn't cost anything to get in here. You just stop in, and there's a temple over there, and they've got big turtles. Maybe I'll take a ride through there as we leave. So I decided just to hit the road and continue on the journey, and we started getting close to Kun Ken, and thought I'd make another stop and check on my directions, make sure, make sure I have everything all set for when we arrive to the big city. Bob, we're about 20 kilometers out of, out of Kong Can. I gotta stop and check my directions. I don't use maps or GPS or anything like that. I, I study the directions on the computer. Um, I type down all the, the routes with landmarks and I use the, the Google Street View a lot and then I'll just send an email to myself I'll bring that up on my phone and it'll say something like take a left past the Toyota dealer uh, once you get into town or, or whatever and it's much easier for me to com compartmentalize it and kind of remember it that way when you when you reduce something to writing a lot of times you remember it better and the, 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 I've never had that good of luck with GPS's anyway and there might be signal issues and um, some of the maps aren't aren't updated batteries with the phone it just I, that's just the way I do mine um, and I've done it that way for years years ago there used to be triple a in the United States and they would give you what's called a trip tick or trip ticket and that's what it was it was turn by turn directions mm -hmm. reduced the writing and you could just kind of flip through that as you mm -hmm. as you drove but um, I guess I, I guess I kind of never got away from that, and I still like to use that. I just always make notes, plan my route ahead of time, and then I refer back to those notes. And although it's modernized, I do keep the notes on my, on my cell phone now. But it's kind of um, on the screen. All I got to do is pull up, pull up the phone, and and there they are. So I'll just check my notes, and we'll take a little look around here, and then we'll uh, continue our way into Kun Ken. So yeah, welcome to Kon Ken. The city's bigger than I imagined. I think this is one of the biggest cities in Isan. And it, it feels like it. As soon as you come into town, it feels like you're in a big city. It's got that kind of vibe and feel to it. Traffic, uh, just uh, long, long highways. And I was going to go and stop on the way and get my bike washed. I, I, I've got a Gotta keep the bike clean on these on these uh, rides because you go through a lot of construction areas. You get dirty dirt roads, but maybe I'll wait and do that tomorrow. And for now, just go to the hotel, and then we can kind of go out and see what's doing. So yeah, I went around the block a couple times. There are a lot of entertainment options here. We'll have to check those out later. But this is called the Chata Veranda Hotel, and we're getting here still early in the day. But we'll get all checked in and go through all the the rigmarole here with the signing in and the forms and all. Now, this is a little bit interesting. This this hotel did request a 100 baht key deposit. Uh, first one in Isan to ask for any key deposit at all and uh, just 100 baht, which I think is more than fair. We were up on the fifth floor and we, uh, this is our, this is our, what our room looked like. This was 600 a night and I think that included tax, but does not include breakfast, but a very nice size room. We had a, a balcony with a, a decent view of the city. Comfortable bed. Yeah, nice size refrigerator. Big refrigerator for a hotel room. Two bottles of water, no mini bar. And uh, this is what we could see basically. And this is kind of behind the hotel. And that's where I was saying there's a whole street of entertainment venues down there. I'm going to have to go down and check that out as soon as we get 
as we get all situated here and get washed up and get changed, um, the washroom is about what you'd expect. No frills, but hot water shower, towels and soap and that kind of sort. So we'll get ourselves all sorted out here and then maybe we'll go out for the evening. So we're going to out for the evening, get some dinner. And it seems like there's a lot of little pubs and stuff around, uh, it's right around the hotel. So we'll check that out. The hotel's actually in a, what I would call a pretty good location. So we're just, we're just on foot. It looks like it's right behind the hotel. I saw an Italian restaurant. I'm not sure we're gonna eat there. Uh, we'll see what else is around, but maybe get some Western food today. Uh, enough some time already. I need something uh, a little bit more rib sticking. So we'll see what we find. I rode through here earlier. Maybe I got turned around because I was looking out the back of the hotel, but somewhere around here, I'll find all kind of stuff going on. Don't tell me you can clean anymore. Don't tell me stuff. I'm sure one of these places we can get a, we can probably get a before dinner drink. Hello. Welcome to Willy Castle. Hi, I'm Bia. Hi. Hi. I'm Bia. I bet when it I bet when it gets dark it's really happening around here. I'll, I'll see what I can find out. See if I can get some local information. A a lovely pub in Quentin. So we'll enjoy a before dinner drink. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is this is called Eric's bar, but Eric's not here. Gone long time. So we'll we'll enjoy it anyway. <laughs> but yeah, we kind of hit it off straight away with the owner, and I couldn't help but feeling I was back on Sui Bacow and Patia. This this is the boss Un, but but Un Un means fat, but she's not fat. She's very she's very slender and skinny. <laughs> So they're all very nice here and we just bought a couple drinks and then we'll go eat. <laughs> but it's like I said, it's just like soy bacow and patty. So in, but in corn can. <laughs> so yeah, I guess the since the first one went down so quick, we decided to get a second, but we were having a good time in there. It was a really nice place. But don't let the lack of customers right now fool you. It's early. It's probably only 4.35 o'clock. We got an early start. Later in the night, when it got dark, this, this place would pick up, and it was quite a show. <laughs> Good luck. Good lucky. <laughs> well, it was more than one, but it's time to go eat. Great time in there. Great place. The boss, outstanding. So yeah, don't worry. We haven't seen the last of Miss Owen. She invited us for a special lunch the following day, so we'll be sure to go to that probably the next episode. Well, we're going down there to the end, Italian, and uh, see what that is. I could go for a good Italian meal. I'll tell you that. And I don't mean pizza. I mean something, something different than pizza. Maybe some kind of pasta, some ravioli, some lasagna. We'll see what they got. So yeah, this place is called Pompadoro. It looks like they were doing quite a business. There's the menu. Got bruschetta. They've got pizza. Don't get me wrong, they've got pizza. And there's the ravioli, look at that. And there's lasagna, beef. That's probably what I'm gonna have straight away. 
Now, will they have garlic bread? And will it be, there's some fettuccine. Let's go, I've seen enough. So yeah, believe it or not, lasagna is one of the dishes I'm afraid to order anywhere. There's just been so many disappointments. It's just never right. This, I would say, is the best lasagna I've ever had in Thailand. Still not uh, what I'm 100% used to. The spaghetti, just par for the course, the spaghetti bolognese that we had. But the lasagna, I think we both ate, ate about half of that. Oh, great Italian meal. Great evening in Kuan Can. We're packing it in early. Lots of stuff to do tomorrow, so. Yeah, I don't know how I'm gonna fit everything into to tomorrow. I've got some stuff to look at in the morning. We've got that lunch to go to. I got another place a subscriber has recommended for dinner. We've got a big plaza to go to, lots of stuff. So tomorrow's gonna be a busy day. We'll catch up on that in the next episode. This is a, this is a nice little lake here, kind of in the middle of Kun Ken. Not a little lake, a huge lake. Looks like you can walk around it. Also a little park, very nice. So much to see here, this is a big, big place I can't possibly see it all in two days but we're gonna look at what we can but for this episode I'm gonna go ahead and leave it off here and as usual I'll thank you for watching and until next time bye for now